Guy says he wants to write me a ticket for my tent. So for the purposes of context, what you're looking at is a traffic stop I was involved in a couple years ago. I got stopped while in a parking lot. I believe it was like a Walgreens or something. I was parked in a fire lane looking at videos on YouTube about what kind of weapons somebody who was on probation or a convicted felon could have because at the time I was on felony probation. So basically as I was sitting there in the parking lot looking up videos on my phone, a cop pulled, uh, he drove by me first trying to light at me, then he circled around the parking lot, parked behind me, got out of his car, knocked on my window, and I straight ignored him. What's up, Dave? No, I'm just sitting in a parking lot doing something on my phone. And this cop wants to, like, harass me. He wants me to, like, roll down my window. My ID and all that shit is outside the car. There's absolutely no reason for me to roll down my window. So then he came up with an excuse that he wants to examine my tent. Well, examine it from the outside of the vehicle. So then he says he's going to write me a ticket. Okay, write it. You're not going to come bully me with that bullshit. Said he can't see inside my vehicle. Every light in the vehicle is on. My hands are on the wheel at 10 and 2. He's got no concern. There's no, no reason for him to come in my vehicle. He don't need to see nothing. I don't have to talk to him. I have the right to remain silent. So, let's see what he want to do with this. <laughs> Florida's where stand your ground started, baby. He's doing something in his car right now. So basically, once he knocked on my window and I straight ignored him, he went and walked back to his car. As soon as he did that, I started my car and pulled out of the fire lane and started to pull into a parking spot. That's when he turned on his lights. And in my opinion, that's when the traffic stop started. I was going to shine my flashlight back in him, but my flashlight's in the trunk. Oh, he's about to find out. He's, he's coming now. He's in my uh, mirror there. I don't know what he's doing. But we'll see. Fifth freedom. Mm. However long this video has been on. Come on, write your fucking ticket and let's get on with the evening. I'm in the parking lot. I'm on private property. I'm at Atlantic and uh, 441 over by the Walmart. I wasn't driving. I was just sitting in the car, minding my own business. <laughs> Let me see your tent, bitch. He's just looking for a way to get an illegal search and seizure. Because see, once I open up that window and talk to this motherfucker, 
Then he can try and say, because see what they really try to do, they don't want to examine the tent. They know the tent's good. What he wants to do is he wants to get the car open so he can search, um, so he can smell around, maybe he can uh, detect the scent of alcohol, marijuana, or other drugs, just whatever it is. And the second you open up your window and you allow that shit, you just opened up the door. I ain't opening the door to that shit. You want to violate my rights, you violate them. I'm not going to just surrender my rights to you and give in to you. Hell, motherfucking nah. I didn't go through what I went through. Win four trials. Set precedent in the 4th District Court of Appeals with a controlling case. So I can let some asshole try and jam me up. What's up, Karen? Oh, Frida's here too now. Somebody hitting the like, the like button. So, for Karen and Frida and Jacob who are just joining us, I've committed no crime. I wasn't driving. I was parked in this parking lot, doing something on my phone, just looking at like some YouTube videos. Because I'm driving somewhere, I got an appointment in the morning, and I didn't want to like drive and look at the phone at the same time. So I pulled off, <coughs> and I'm just like parked on the side. So this dude, he come up, and he knocking on my window and shit. I ain't saying nothing, you can knock on my window all you want. So he went back to his car, I figured he was done. And so I just started the car and... Went to leave. Hey, Shirley, what's up? See what we dealing with? So, he turned his lights on and that, at that point. I guess that's initiating the traffic stop. And now, I put my flyer outside the car. They're not on the camera yet. They just... That's pretty much all you can see is what's in the mirror at this point. They back there doing they fuck shit. He just, at the end of the day, what he's trying to do, he's trying to get me to roll down my window so he can examine my tent to make sure that my tent is within standard. The reason he wants to do this is so he can search my car. Here he comes, he's going to knock. Yeah, so he just came up. I don't know what he's doing. But. So he brought another one now. So. Yeah, he bring me back my ID. The fuck out of here. That's right. Look, he put my flyer back the fuck out there. That is a cop blocker. Anybody wants my fucking cop blocker. I'll show you how to fucking do it. But that's how we fucking roll. We do not, under any circumstances, talk to the damn police. Get your fuck ass on. That's right. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Get your ass on. You too. Later, motherfucker. That's right. That's called cop blocking. We cop blockers. You can't do a motherfucking thing. Ain't no tickets in here. Oh, he wrote me a ticket. Whatever. But I'll take that shit to court and I'll beat it because at the end of the day, ain't nothing. Let's see what he gave me a ticket for. Did he, even t did he take my flyer? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Dear law enforcement officer, to the law enforcement officer who has stopped this vehicle, please read. If you'd like, I'll read this aloud for your dash or body camera. I am assuming you are stopping my vehicle for an alleged traffic violation. 
I will be providing a current driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance upon your request. These items are enclosed in the Ziploc bag secured to my window. I will answer no questions regarding the alleged traffic violations that may violate my Fifth Amendment rights. Example, do you know how fast you are going? State your allegation, and I will sign the citation agreeing to appear in court at the designated time and place. Please do not ask my passengers for identification. They have no reason to identify themselves. To protect my Fifth Amendment rights, I will not answer questions about the origin or destination of my trip. I will not answer questions regarding my passengers or the contents of my vehicle. To protect my Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights, I give no express or implied consent to search any part of my person, vehicle, or property. Please do not take this personally. I am simply ensuring that my rights are protected. Just like you, I wish to return to my home safely tonight. Thank you for your cooperation, respecting my rights, and upholding your oath. Regards, Jack Gale. And when you're behind the wall and you only get one call, Michael A. Gottlieb, practicing attorney, 954-462-1005. That's who I fucking give them. Now, let's get to this stuff about the tickets. Let's see what they wrote. Dun, 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 dun. This one is for improper park safety zone curb parked in a fire lane. I'm not parked in a fire lane, bitch. I got the evidence right here. I ain't in no fire lane. Look, we on a live motherfucking video, fuck boy. We in a parking lot, bitch. I ain't in no fucking improper uh, safe zone. The fire lane is over there. So that ticket's going to get thrown out. I'll beat that one myself. God leave you. You're not going to be needed on that one. What's this one? This ticket here is for side window rest sunscreen. Would not roll window down to conduct tint meter reading four dark windows you're motherfucking right i'm not gonna let you violate and do a fourth amendment search and seizure i don't have to that'll send that to the ticket clinic and then this one is display of registration decal 2018 decal displayed i already have a ticket for that i go to court on that on may 29th i've got a valid registration he can go fuck himself i ain't worried about a goddamn thing all right, I'm going to go head out to the Tamarack. Shalene, I'm not going to be able to help you out in the morning. I got to do something at Coral Springs Kia, get an oil change and all that shit. But love y'all. That's how you deal with the police. Fuck them.